Our materials for this class include 1x2 barn boards to create the frame of the sign, and hardboard prepped with a coat of black paint with an outline design to create the interior portion of the sign. We also have blank boards if you'd like to try freehanding your own design. We'll first cut the frame pieces using the Dremel Saw Max, fitted with the SM500 carbide wheel designed to cut wood and plastic. To set up the saw, first make sure it's unplugged. Press the spindle lock on the top of the tool. Loosen and remove the lock bolt and outer washer. Now place the cutting wheel against the inner washer on the spindle. Place the outer washer onto the cutting wheel and then tighten the locking bolt. It's now time to set the depth of the cutting wheel. Pull the depth adjustment lever. Adjust the wheel using the depth scale. In this case, we're adjusting to the max depth of 3 fourths inch and then tighten the lever. I can now plug in the saw and put on my safety equipment. To turn on the saw, toggle the lock lever and then press the paddle switch. Once the wheel is up to speed, align the guide with the cut line and make the cut. Continue making and cutting the board to create two seven and three fourths inch pieces and two six inch pieces. It's now time to assemble the frame. For this, we're using Gorilla hot glue sticks which are five times stronger than leading hot glue sticks and create a long-term hold on hard to bond surfaces. Working on top of a piece of wax paper, arrange the boards face down in alternating lengths end to end. Apply a bead of Gorilla hot glue to one end of each board and then press it against the edge of the adjoining board. Allow the glue to cool for several minutes before moving the frame. It's now time to engrave the sign. For this, we're using the Dremel Stylo Plus, fitted with a high-speed cutting bit 191, designed for use on wood, plastics, and soft metals. To insert the bit, first make sure the tool is unplugged. Press the shaft lock button on the underside of the tool, and then twist open the collet nut. Place the bit fully into the opening, and then tighten the collet nut first with your fingers, and then with the tool's wrench. I can now plug in the tool and put on my safety equipment. The Stylo Plus can be held comfortably with a pencil grip or a golf grip for more aggressive operations like sanding or grinding. The tool also has a variable speed dial. It's best to test and adjust the speed on a scrap board, but for this application, we're setting the Stylo Plus to a speed of five. To turn on the Stylo Plus, press the power button. Touch the tip of the tool to the portions of the painted surface you'd like to remove. Using the Stylo Plus feels a bit like coloring, but avoid pressing the tip into the surface. Just let the rotation of the bit do the work. It's now time to attach the sign to the frame. Begin by placing a small bead of Gorilla Hot Glue on the back side of the frame along the inside edge. Turn the sign face down, center it on the frame, and then press it into place. Let the glue fully dry before moving the frame.